and I'm back again. You're in Lady J's Kitchen one more time. We're gonna make a quick one, two, three recipe that you can use for parties or a quick dinner idea or something quick for lunch. This is very good. Classic shrimp po' boys. Mm, yes, again, I'm the Cajun lady from Louisiana and everything, I don't just do Cajun food, but when I do food, it always has a Cajun flair. So this is really simple recipe. We're gonna keep it quick and we're gonna keep it moving. So we're gonna start out with some shrimp. We have already peeled and deveined shrimp, already been washed and cleaned really good. So this is about a pound of shrimp, doesn't really matter, just cook as much as you need. And we have some um, fish fry seasoning. It's seasoned fish fry. This is the New Orleans flavored kind, which just means it has lemon in it. So you don't have to use this kind, use whatever kind you like. So we're gonna put a couple of cups of this. just to coat our shrimp, so that's two cups. And then I like to add a little seasoning because it doesn't really have enough salt factor for me. So this is my seasoning, Lady J's Yaya, that I'm making. So I'll post a recipe for you to make a seasoning blend, but this is my foundational blend. I use it in everything. Doesn't have a lot of salt, but has a lot of flavor. So we're gonna put a tape, let's put two tablespoons in there just because we know it's gonna be good. Mix it up. All right, I'm gonna throw on the glove real quick. So this is step one, getting the shrimp cooked. We have our oil heating here at about 350. Coat the shrimp. I don't put any egg or anything on it, so don't keep it simple. And now we're gonna go in with the shrimp. Ready to go to the next step. This is step number two, okay? We're gonna get our bread ready. We have our oven on 375. It's already warm, so you preheat your oven to 375. We have some slider buns. Get these from your bakery section or your store. I got these at Walmart, just a couple dollars. So this is a really inexpensive dinner lunch option. All right, so you just cut the bun real simply. Be careful not to cut your hand. And then you take a little melted butter, brush them, and then we're gonna take them, we're gonna put them upside down on here so they can toast. You can go across the tops with a little butter. Butter never hurt nobody. A little bit of butter makes it a whole lot better. All right, going in the oven. We're gonna go in the oven for about five to seven minutes just to get a nice toast on that. All right, now we're on to step three. We're gonna mix the sauce. Okay, so this is a quick concoction sauce. You don't have to make anything from scratch. We're gonna make it easy. You have some ranch dressing. This is buttermilk ranch, but you don't, you're not limited to that. Use any ranch dressing that you like. This is horseradish sauce. You can use any brand. This is just the one I happen to have on hand. And the other main ingredient is stone ground or spicy brown mustard. I prefer stone ground, but I didn't have it. So spicy brown works just as good. And trust me, it's gonna be easy. So really quickly, show you how this is made. We're gonna go with two, two, and two. So two tablespoons of everything. That's a one, two tablespoons of ranch. We're gonna go with two tablespoons of horseradish sauce. And this is not an extremely spicy horseradish sauce. If it seems spicy to you, cut it down. Add one tablespoon, mix it in, taste it. And then if you want more, you can add from there but it's not spicy to me, so, uh-oh. So together, that's about a tablespoon, and we're gonna add one more. So two, two, and two, guys, real simple. Mix it up, and that's the basic sauce, but we're gonna add just a couple more ingredients to bring it around, and that is we're gonna add two teaspoons of sugar. This is just regular sugar. One, no, just, yeah. Let's put a teaspoon and a half, okay? Of regular sugar. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. All right, cayenne pepper, because I like the heat factor to be just a little bit hotter in these and balance out the sugar. So we mix that up really good. And that's your sauce for your po' boy. All right, so we got everything done. Our buns just came out of the oven. We have our shrimp already prepared and, and we have our sauce and our toppings ready. We're gonna take our bun, 
These are not hard toasted. You just want them kind of warm and lightly toasted. And this is the bottom top, it doesn't matter. Okay, first thing, you wanna squirt a little sauce. I like to squirt a little bit on each one because it helps the lettuce to stick. That's the trick. And again, this is the same sauce. I just have it in a little convenient squeeze box. And you see why. Put a little lettuce, a little shredded lettuce on there. Drop a few shrimp on there, you don't have to. And if you're doing a party, about five shrimp per party. And of course, I'm the Cajun lady. So we gotta add a little green onion to it, y'all, just because it tastes so good. All right, and if you want that to stick a little better, you can top it off with a little dash of sauce. And boom, shrimp po' boy slider. Isn't that the best? Let's make another one real quick, just to show you how fast it is. Sauce, sauce, lettuce, shrimp. This is the best, easiest party dish you're ever going to make that's going to knock people's socks off. And they're going to be happy they came to your New Year's Eve party. So that's the shrimp po' boy slider in Lady J's kitchen. Delicious. Here we go. Let's take a bite. Right out of Louisiana, y'all. Come on and get it. In Lady J's kitchen, shrimp po' boy sliders. Happy New Year.